Try that again. It's Beth from Be Styled. Attempting to come to come to you live again. A little late. Lots of technical issues, lots of dog issues, lots of charger issues, lots of frustration. And guess what? Here's some news for you. I had my annual exam today with my doctor. And guess who has really high blood pressure? Me. Really high. Like today it was 130 over 90. So she's told me no coffee. I've got to cut out all coffee for a month. And then I'm going to go back and hopefully it's gone down. But that's crazy. Mary has had high blood pressure. Her mother did too. So it's in my family. But yikes. Anyway, hello everyone. I'm coming to you live in the private dressing room. Hi, Karen. This is just us chickens. Um, this is just in the dressing room for the fall program. So welcome everyone. I hope people can catch this on the replay. This is probably not an ideal time. Uh, it's Tuesday at two-ish, you know, hours after my intended, you know, live video. So I will really try to get better. I'm really trying to figure out a way to get, in, you know, send you notifications. I know that you can hit during my video, you can hit something and ask to receive notifications if you aren't already. But there's another way that I could do them that I'm still trying to figure out. But what I wanted to do today is answer some questions about the program. Um, and I've got my notes here. And I'm asking you to feel free to write questions in there and hopefully... I will see them and can answer them, uh, but you can always, if you catch it on the replay, as most of you will, just type them in and I promise to respond. But there are some kind of universal questions that I've been hearing that I want to go through just to help make this as beneficial for you all as possible. I'm going to start with the color palette. Um, that's an area where I don't tell you, you know, what colors to do because everyone's different. Everyone likes different colors. Everyone has different colors that work for them. But I do think it's important or it's helpful to have a color palette, similar to when I'm telling you when you go packing for a trip, when you're thinking about your seasonal capsule or your wardrobe, it's kind of good to have a color palette in mind. Now, a lot of us already kind of do that just by virtue of being attracted to certain colors. I know that's how I am. I you know, almost season in and season out, I'm kind of attracted to the same color families. Um, but when I make a, like a fall capsule, for example, I do like to have a, um, <laughs> I just got a text from my son, sorry. I do like to have a, 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 a color palette. And this fall, I have chosen the colors gray. I love gray, black and white. So those gray, black and white are kind of my neutrals. And then I'm, my accent colors are wine. I have wine pants on right now because um, I like the name and I like the color for the fall. And it's just a really great color. And then my other color is a blush color, kind of a, a pale pink blush, grayish blush color. Um, and then from there, you know, I'll throw in other colors, but that's sort of my general palette. Okay, so that's my recommendation is to kind of pick a, a palette, pick your, your neutrals. It could be, you know, navy and white and tan um, is another kind of neutral palette. Obviously black and gray, black and tan, you know, pick your favorite neutrals as your foundational colors and then add your favorite accent colors that all work, that kind of work together. Um, and you, if you need, if you need help figuring that out, just, just, reach out to me and I can help you with that. Um, but one tip I have is to start with an accessory, whether it's a necklace that has color in it, colored stones, or a scarf, um, or, or even a pair of shoes, I mean, that, that you just gravitate to that maybe has a pattern in colors. And you can use that as sort of a jumping off point for your palette. Scarf is a great thing to use. Um, similar to somebody told me once, I'm not a, a room decorator, but someone told me once a great way to start a room is with the rug. You know, pick out a rug you love and build it up from there. So you could use that same philosophy and use a scarf. Pick up a new fall scarf for, you know, $20, 30 $40 and build, you can build your... Um, your palette around that. In fact, that's what I did with that Stella and Dot scarf, which I have not received yet, but it has those colors that I just mentioned, the wines and the blush um, and the gray and that kind of thing. So um, 
That's my color palette, but you don't need to copy that unless you love it. Use your, use, use your, your own palette and use what you already have and build around it. Because remember, that's what you're going to do first. You're going to start with your closet. So that's the color palette question. Now, the other question somebody had, I think it was Kim, was about the pattern top. Um, I'm, I don't buy a ton of different patterns. I maybe get one new one every season or almost every year. Maybe not even. Like, I don't have a ton because they are a little more limited, limiting. But um, a pattern top is something that you want to think about having it work with the palette. So especially with your cardigans, jackets, pants, the pattern that you pick, you want to have colors that coordinate with those other pieces because you're going to want to be able to wear it with multiple things. I never want you to buy a top, for example, with a pattern that only works with one thing um, or in one way. That's too limiting. So think about what you have and when you pick out a pattern top, if you need a new one, um, you know, think about your palette. I do recommend looking at Old Navy for pattern tops for very affordable pattern tops because they have some really cool ones. I added them to the catalog last night. Karen has one. Marty has the one with the cool reds. Um, and I added that and a couple others. The one that has a black base with cool colors in it. And one that I love too that has cream and like some yellows and pinks but in a fallish kind of way. Long sleeve. Um, Old Navy. 40% off. I too, I think. So... Um, she, that was a question about the pattern top. The other question was what are casual jeans versus boyfriend jeans versus dark wash jeans? Basically I put both because, um, I like to have a pair of straight, you know, dark wash jeans that, that you can wear in a dressy situation. You know, you can wear them with heeled booties or flats and go out at night wearing them. Almost like you would wear black pants. They're dark wash. They don't have any fading or, um, distressing or embellishments at all. They're just your go-to dark wash pants, like the Wit & Wisdom Ab Solutions, like a pair of Page. If you want boot cut, I mean, skinny jeans are kind of the easier way to go because they really do work for most people and they work great in the fall with boots and booties. Um, but if you want a boot cut, there's one in the catalog that I got that is the cut from the cloth boot cut. It's in the catalog and I wrote on it which one it was. If you have a question about that, let me know. But that was a good boot cut. It's it's got a, you know, it's nice and fitted, and then it flares at the bottom. Um, so that's your dark wash jeans. Dress. Think of them as kind of like your dressy jeans, but you can wear them all the time. Now your casual jeans are your more, you know, call them your weekend jeans. Your more casual jeans. Maybe they're a little more faded. They could be a boyfriend jean if that style works for you. They could be distressed. They could have some tears, rips in them. Um, if you like that, I know I do. I don't have a lot that way, but I'm still on the lookout for just the right kind of distressed jeans. But those are your weekend jeans. Those are your lighter wash. So they look great with black. They look great with white, with gray. They're, they're maybe a little bit of a softer, you know, looser denim potentially, and they're just a more casual denim. So those are the two pairs of jeans I like to have. Okay, the other question was about the colored pants, which are on your options. They're an add-on. They are not an essential. Everything I've talked about so far are on the essentials list. When you go to the, bottom, the, the lower section of the catalog is where you get into the add-ons. Um, and that's where color jeans appeared because you don't need to go out and buy color jeans and you don't need to spend a fortune on them and you don't need to have them at all if you don't want. But, and by jeans, I mean colored pants. Um, but th there are some great pants out there. And if you work in an office, a pair of trousers or slacks in a, in a great color will just expand your wardrobe, expand your options, especially if, we, if it's a color like wine. If you notice in the catalog, I picked a lot of wine because wine is almost like black. You know, it's just, it's, it's deep and rich and works with gray and white and black and blush. And if you have a pattern that works with it, it's just a really versatile color in the fall versus some other, you know, like green, for example, which can be great, but maybe like a, a bright green, but maybe not as versatile. Which brings me to another question about the green pants, which are back in the essentials list. Because I do think a neutral pant, like, a, like an olive green, or if you prefer khaki, that's absolutely fine. Those are a great, you know, I, you know, fall pant to go to. You know, in fall, I wear pretty much jeans or my olive pants or black pants, mostly jeans and olive. And then I might, and then I do have a pair of wine pants that I'm wearing today. Um, but that kind of covers pants. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Joelle. It's good to see you, ladies. 
Thanks for hanging in there with me with my odd timing of this video. I had lots of issues today. Lots of issues, but it's all good. Um, I'm going through more questions. If, any, if you think of any, please write them in. Uh, I've talked about your color palette, the pattern top, um, boyfriend jeans versus dress jeans, dark wash jeans. Um, let's see. What else? Oh, athleisure. I think it was Kim, again, that asked about athleisure. She said she doesn't have a big budget. She doesn't really have any athleisure, but she could see the appeal. Um, athleisure is a big buzzword. Um, as you know, I'm affiliated with Peach, and that's Peach has pivoted from being a bra company and focusing on an athlete, being an athleisure you know, ret uh, retailer, um, direct-to-consumer retailer. And the reason for that is athleisure is the fastest growing segment of the clothing industry, bar, bar none. It is growing at the fastest rate because people want to be comfortable. People are more, a little more casual and they want to be comfortable and they, um, they, st they, they, you know, but they still need to go to work and look professional and put together. Um, but you can do so with great athleisure clothes that are still comfortable. So. That being said, I don't think you need a huge athleisure wardrobe. I think you, if you want to have an athleisure look to go to, like today I'm wearing athleisure just because I it's just it's just comfortable. You know, I didn't have anything that I needed to get dressed up for, uh, so I threw on a gray t-shirt and my wine. Um, they're called the Juliet pants from Peach that are just a pull-on. They're kind of like a boyfriend jean in a sweatpant material or like a French terry, really soft material with an elastic waist, kind of a high elastic waist, a thick waistband. Great, comfortable, but they're cute. And I wore them with my Nike sneakers. See, they've got a little cuff bottoms. So they're not the jogger. They call them a jogger, but they're not that jogger with the elastic. They are, they are a straight leg that I even wear cuffed. But anyway, I think you, you know, it's great to have a pair of go-to athleisure pants that are comfortable and not constricting and that flatter your body. And it's going to be different for everyone, whether it's, it's leggings, it could be joggers, it could be, you know, um, wide leg drawstring pants, elastic waist, uh, wide leg pants, which I love, but a great pair of, of athleisure pants. And then you have your tees. I mean, your tees work with it right there. Um, and then the third piece I think would be a um, kind of a wrap slash cardigan that you can throw on over your tee or your tank. And that's a kind of outfit you could wear to Pilates and then go to lunch and then go to, you know, put some dry hair, sh dry shampoo in your hair and some deodorant and go out for drinks. Change your shoes maybe. Um, so that's the idea is something that you can, um, you know, get, wear throughout the day and transform and make it work with what you're doing. Um, so that's my athleisure speech. Now, she asked about budget-friendly places to get athleisure. Target, Old Navy, um, even Nordstrom has some, some athleisure items that are, that are reasonable. Um, and then, you know, I, I've, I've got to talk about peach because, no, peach is not inexpensive. It's less expensive than Athleta. It's far less expensive than Lululemon or Sweaty Betty, which are kind of at the top of that range. Um, but it's not Target or Old Navy, but it's also really nice. Like it, it is really nice. So, um, you know, you don't need a lot of it, but the pieces that each season they introduce a new, they introduce a new kind of line. And this is, this, this season just came out today, as a matter of fact. Um, and it's really, really cool stuff. And everything is, is interchangeable and mix and matchable because it's based on a color palette, which is neat. But, um, I, you know, let me know if, if you need help finding anything in particular, for that athleisure. I think that was Kim's question. Hopefully she gets to ch catch this later. Karen has a question about black jeans fading so quickly. Have you ever died? <gasps> Damn it. Am I still live? Sorry, I swore. It says I'm still live. My phone just crashed. It did not break. Ah. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> so, no. Have I ever died jeans? Come on, Karen. You know me better enough, well enough to know that I don't do anything like that. I'm just not capable. Um, so no, I've never dyed black jeans, but it's probably not that hard to do. Um, sorry, I can't help you there. Redye them. I bet somebody out there knows about that. Um, to be honest, I don't really wear a lot of black jeans. Um, I have a pair of black slacks, you know, black pants, ankle pants that I wear if I'm getting dressed up. Um, 
I don't think I own a pair of black jeans, to be very honest. I was going to, I'm thinking of getting the Wit and Wisdom um, black, kind of the Absolution black skinny jeans. Um, that, but um, that, that's, sorry, don't have an answer to that. But it's, I think it's, hey, it's worth a try. Can't be that hard. They sell that dye. Yeah, just try it. Let us know how it goes. <laughs> um, anyone else have any other questions? Let's see. I'm trying to think of other things that come up about the capsule or about the program. I want to apologize for the mistake with the email um, that came out about sending people to the wrong summer group. I don't know what, what went wrong there, but I'm going to fix that and resend it. Um, but Nancy said, maybe buy a good pair and don't wash them too often. Yeah, that, I guess that's what I would recommend. Um, because I'm surprised that they're getting that faded unless they're old, unless you've had them for a long time. Then maybe it's time to, to change, you know, if you wear them that much, it's time to get a new pair. And I would say wash them inside out. Do that with your jeans as well. Take, put them inside out when you wash them. And don't put them in the dryer. Um, and maybe, yeah, just don't wash them quite as frequently. I don't wear, I don't wash my jeans every time I wear them by any measure. I mean, unless they're really getting dirty, I, I go a couple of wears without washing them. Um, and I would do the same with black pants. I'm always telling my kids that. Like, they wear something for 10 minutes and it goes in the laundry. I'm like, no, don't do that. It's not dirty. <laughs> Especially pants, you know. So, um, that's a good tip, Nancy. And if you need a tip for black jeans, Karen, let me know. Um, they're all going to look good on you. Um, so, Karen says she has the black Absolution jeans and they faded after a few times. I do wash them inside out and don't put them in the dryer. They stretched out, so I wash them every time. So they faded. Hmm. Well, that's good to know. Very good to know. Huh. You know what? I mean, if, if they really faded and looked different, you know Nordstrom would take them back. I mean, that doesn't seem right. They would literally give you your money back or send you a new pair. <laughs> but um, I don't know. Unless they're supposed to be sort of a worn-in looking black or if, they're supposed to, or, or if they're supposed to be really stark, stark black, then that's not good if they faded. That's interesting. Um, hmm. All right. Any other questions? Well, I think I'm going to wrap up because my dog that I locked out is scratching at the door. My good dog is right here. <laughs> the bad one is scratching at the door. Looking to see if I had any other questions. I don't think I do. But I'm here for you, ladies. If you ever need anything, if you need a, a specific suggestion for something that you're looking for, just you know, put it on, the best place to do, put it is right here on this group and tag me. Um, because if you're looking for it, chances are someone else is, and I can answer you and them at the same time. Um, and other people can benefit from it. So you guys have been really good about doing that. Um, but I'm trying, my, my goal with this group is, is, is I'm going to close registration soon because I want to keep it small. I'm not even sure what we're up to in the Facebook group. It's like 50 or 60 people. Um, and then there are people who are, a lot of people who aren't on Facebook who joined the program, but I want to keep this group small, um, which probably isn't the best idea from a business perspective. Don't, don't tell my husband down the hall about that, but I really want this to be a, you know, a, you know, a really consultative group. I don't want it to be this big, massive Facebook group with, you know, hundreds or thousands of people in it where I can't, you know, have any kind of one-on-one -on -one contact. Um, that's just not, you know, that's not why I do this. Um, so, I do plan to close registration. Not that I'm getting, not that I have thousands of people, you know, begging to get in, but I have quite a few and, you know, it could grow and I, but I've made the decision that I want this group to be, I want to be able to be in this group giving one-on-one -on -one attention, you know, um, and I, and I want to make that $49 very worthwhile for you. So I'm going to keep, I want to keep the group small and intimate and I really, I really invite you to ask questions because that's my favorite part of doing this is really being able to figure out what you guys need. Um, I know shoes are a big issue and, I, and I'm on a mission to find some comfortable shoes that work for problematic feet because it seems like that's probably the most universal issue of people in this group, whether it's because of our age. There's somebody's giving me a thumbs up. Everyone has foot issues. Um, I've been lucky so far, also because I'm not on my feet that much. Um, you know, I don't have a job where I'm standing on my feet or, you know, running around in shoes all day. I can wear sneakers or flats, but a lot of you do. And, um, it's no fun to have sore feet and, but there are also, they're 
got to be, and I'm gonna make it my mission in life to find some good looking shoes that are good for your feet and comfortable because um, there's no quicker way to wreck your look than with really bad shoes. There are a lot of bad shoes out there, honeys, ladies. There really are. Um, and, you know, I don't want to be the shoe, you know, police because I know they need to be comfortable, but I know they've got to be out there. And if I were an inventor, I would invent a pair. <laughs> so I'm going to find shoes and um, I'm here for you, keeping this group small and intimate so that you can ask questions. Don't be shy. Feel free. You guys are, this group is filled with just the most salt of the earth, wonderful women. It's amazing the friendships and relationships that have been developed, which reminds me because some of you are local. I know Suzanne is on September 9th, it's a Saturday night at four o'clock in Westford, Lori Chiapetta. I'm not sure if that's how you say her name. Lori Felix Chiapetta. I don't think she's on. Um, she'll be on later and I are hosting an event at her summer village in Westford and we're just going to do a style chat and I don't have an agenda um, but we're going to have cocktails happy hour four o'clock in Westford details to follow but mark your calendar if there's any way you can get away on Saturday the 9th um, it'd be a great way to get all of us local B stylers together okay so stay tuned for more on that and um Oh, and Karen, I thought you lived close by. September 9th, 4 o'clock. Mark your calendar, Karen. I'm so excited. We will have so much fun. I can't wait to meet you ladies in person. I get to see Suzanne at the coffee shop every once in a while, which is great. And thanks for being here today, Suzanne. And everyone watching on the replay, thank you for watching. Post your questions and get dressed. Have fun. Um, don't be a perfectionist. Don't get stressed out about you know making everything just right. Just do your best. Don't go crazy buying either. That's my other message. And then my last thing before I sign off is remember um, that each week, or at least once a week, there's going to be a closet mission or challenge. And if you missed it, the one I posted yesterday in the group is this week we are focusing on shoes. My my challenge for you is. If you have time, or if you can make the time, take out every pair of shoes out of your closet. Take them all out and go through them one by one. The ones that you did not wear this spring or fall, the spring or summer, that are spring or summer shoes that you did not wear, put them aside. The ones that you wear all the time, put them front and center, put them back. If you, if you have shoes you did not reach for, they're sandals or wedges that you did not wear since May, and it's now end of August, you need to really think about whether they belong in your closet. Can you sell them on Poshmark, my favorite way to sell things, quick and easy with your phone? Can you give them to a great charity like Big Brother Big Sister or to a friend? If they hurt your feet, maybe your friend's feet are young and don't hurt yet. <laughs> give them to her. Get them out of your closet. All right? Um, so, but, but, but I think it's easy to focus on one thing. So this week, think shoes. When you're in your closet, keep a big black trash bag in your closet to... As you see a shoe that you don't, uh, it's, it's just not, doesn't suit me anymore. Put it in the bag. Make it black so you can't see through it and try to dig it, dig, dig anything out. Okay? And at the end of the week, we should all have clean, organized shoes in our closet. Um, and if you've already done your shoes, like I already did my shoes and I only got rid of two or three pairs, I'm doing the entire floor of my closet because I have crap on my closet floor, bags and suitcases that I need to just pull out and weed through. So get that entire floor level of your closet purged, cleansed, and organized this week. It's basically the first section of the closet cleanse, but I'm giving you all week to do it. And you, maybe you've already done it, so you can just refresh it and just get in there and vacuum it or something. All right, so everyone, thanks for joining. Hi, Anne. Suzanne's gonna come on the 9th. Anne, mark September 9th on your calendar. We're meeting in Westford. At, I think it's called the Summer Village. It's Lori, Lori Chiapetta's, sorry if I'm killing your name, um, Summer Village there, and there's like a clubhouse, and I'm going to be there, and we're going to have like just a get-together and talk whatever we want to talk about. <laughs> All right? Um, well, thanks for listening today, and I will be back soon. Bye.